Well, hello everyone and welcome back to another video of some F1 2020 gameplay. Today, we are going to be taking, doing a little bit of uh, livery modding where we uh, do sort of a little what if um, uh, certain sponsors sponsor. And today, uh, you may have seen a couple of weeks ago now, Golf announced his new sponsorship deal with McLaren. And I believe a couple of the designers on Twitter decided that, oh yes, this would be a good time to do that. So, obviously the game has limitations as well um, in what we can do. So, yes, but first of all, before we get before we take a more detailed look, um, I'd just like to say that we're currently on 188 subscribers. If you haven't yet subscribed, it's the big red button in the video. It massively helps me out. We're aiming 200 subscribers by the end of the year. But yes, um, here it is then. With the uh, which I've left the orange as it is. We've changed the blue to light. So obviously the Dell Technologies logo and the um, Dark Trace logo are um, uh, in. I've been I changed those to black. We've got unfortunately we've got mirroring. That's the one thing that we hate. But obviously it's something that needs to be filled filled on the paint file as opposed to, I can't put on the decal file basically the decal file is all the sponsors as opposed to the paint file the paint so that's unfortunate also um, you'll notice that I've put the um, golf sponsor instead of the uh, fake um, Australia Galicia logos the Australia if I'm pronouncing that right basically Carlos's beer um, thing and I've put the coca-cola logo as well not in the correct place because you can't basically I've discovered that this car isn't actually very accurate and is waiting a big update from coke bastards so yes but of course we're going to have a race I mean that's pretty much what we're going to do I mean that would be the only way I haven't updated any of the pick or anything I didn't have any time for that but we get ready for five lights around the 70th anniversary Grand Prix at Silverstone Lights out on the way we go, and it, it, as usual, it's a great start using overtake button once again. That's going to get us ahead of the fake Mercedes and up into the top 10. Of course, Mercedes, uh, sorry, Racing Point getting fined today, um, which I think should be more, but that's for another discussion. Danny inside now of uh, the runner, I think that's uh, uh, Ricardo, and that's up into uh, what is P8. And somehow Roman Grosjean is up in P7. I don't know how he got there. I didn't do any qualifying, so maybe the game put him there. Um, if they have, then that's a huge mistake because Haas should not be up in the top 10 starting position. I mean, look at that. He's already fallen back uh, behind uh, Verstappen by two, one and a half seconds. So easy dive bomb on him on the Haas, and he comes in. In actual fact, it looks like. Ricardo there is going to get him get Grosjean as well. At least Ricardo can't, no moaning there from this time. Although uh, Grosjean, of course, the AI really doesn't get involved in, in a lot compared to his real life um, self, like he did last weekend, which he probably should have got disqualified for, but somehow didn't. Um, Yes, as Ricardo comes in and look at the AI very strong on the old parts strip pit straight. Um, they always look for the overtake here. I don't know. I, even with like Rich Mix and overtake, they will always look for it. And through in the early parts of Magnus and Beckett's, they will too are very strong here, which of course leads them to have some overtakes onto this DRS straight, which is just so painful. Um, especially if you haven't got the right setup, which I haven't got a setup for this track, so I'm just using a general setup. Um, natural fact, we're into lap three. Our teammates now are coming through on Ricardo Carlos, um, who has been subject of this in the past. But he's going to get the position down the inside into the final corner and up into P8 as they go across the line, but. Unfortunately, if uh, Sainz, we're in the way. He tries to go around our outside at the end of the DRS straight, and that allows Ricardo to come back at Danny's inside. Ocon and the two fake Mercedes have come to join the uh, of, uh, the um, the party, and now Sainz is really struggling. Overtaken by Ricardo, now Ocon is coming through as well in the other banana car, and he's challenging his teammate. 
as well as he goes down the inside. And I think there was contact there because Ricardo made his pit stop, which is a little bit early, but I'm sure he'll be able to come into the pit, come out behind us as we're getting attacked upon all sides. We need to make our stop on this lap. Perez and Ocon uh, having a go. Our teammates not really doing very well in, the, in their car, but they're going to go on a further lap. We're coming in the end lap seven. Grosjean is coming in as well. I believe that's uh, Giovinazzi and then one of the Alpha Tauris, and I think that's Latifi as well. Uh, it's Magnussen that's behind us. So we've got a little bit of a t gap. So can we get in front of Magnussen? That'd be nice, not be held up in the pits. 2.9 second stop. Okay, unsafe release, but no nothing to see there. Nothing to see there. Of course, we don't have unsafe releases in F1 2020, the game. So the, the, that, that's that's fine. No uh, reason to uh, say otherwise, really. There, as we move up into down to P15, our Albon has come in, but he's some 17 and a half seconds ahead the pace of the front runners. As we jump to later on lap eight, as we're coming through Magnus and Beckett's Ricardo is two and a half seconds. Kimi Raikkonen now is out of the Grand Prix, and Lewis Hamilton safety car. <laughs> That's, a, that's, not a mis that's not an AI mistake. This is Raikkonen wanted to go in the pits and then he just made contact with uh, Russell and then this is just going to be some AI stupidity from Hamilton, isn't it? Yep, and he just goes into the back of him. And unfortunately for us, of course, all our people around us were making their pit stops under the safety car. We tried to go ahead of Ocon, but we got uh, this illegal overtake, which I think we were slightly ahead, but um, apparently the game thought we were we were behind. As uh, Perez and of course Russell had to go around, they're they're at the front of the pack with uh, Russ with uh, that and move to lap ten now. Those softs are going to be s s going so off right now. The mediums now is the tar to be on so there's positions to be had here should the IR start to squabble but we haven't got great pace and it may we have, may have to settle for only P8 although this is what we're talking about now Russell has slowed down everybody as well in that Williams not very really the slowest car in this game even though it's not in real life as Ocon now and Sainz are going side by side through into turn one Ocon's getting knocked out by Sainz this is going to give us an opportunity to go down the inside into turn Number three, thank you very much. And up into P7. Of course, this is not over. Our pace is woeful. Can we get sights into this corner? No, we can't. We're going to have to wait here now and just see what we can do. Hang back a little bit on sights as we power onto the, the, the um, excuse me, the old start finish straight here, which of course could be an alternative layout. Should they ever design it, but well, they probably won't. Through the old turn one, this is where the AI are gaining me. I'm losing time after time through that. And jump into the last lap. We've made contact with with Ocon. We've got Ricardo and Perez all over the back of us. Ricardo is going to get in front of his teammate as well. So Renault have capitulated themselves here today. And it's McLaren who are going to be best of the rest. Ricardo and Ocon are still going side by side. Out the final corner though, P7 for us. <sighs> Could have been P6 to be honest, but with obviously Hamilton, but we'll take that nevertheless. Gasly, I didn't see him in this race, so um, that's an error of a re response there. As we finish sixth, uh, three and a half seconds off our teammate, which is not the best you want so the pace definitely wasn't there we were struggling uh, against the Renaults and the fake Mercedes there it was Stroll not Perez excuse me by the way because Perez was down at the bottom uh, I'm not sure what happened to Perez he did, couldn't get ahead of uh, Russell there but yes if you have enjoyed this video then leave a like subscribe to the channel if you need to see more uh, F1 2020 gameplay and mods as and when they come out. If you've got a livery mod or any mod that you want to see, then let me know in the comments below. If you're new around here, then please do get subscribed for weekly Formula 1 content. And I've been Phoenix84 on a 6. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.